How's it going, everyone? I hope you're having a great day because today we have a story of a crazy Karen that ends up stealing the subscriber's dog. I'm not even kidding you. The Karen actually steals slash abducts the dog. It's absolutely crazy. So sit back, relax, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and let's just jump right into it and call the subscriber Gabby. So anyways, this all started one day when Gabby was in the dog park, and because Gabby had a dog, it was like, it was a smaller dog, I don't know exactly what type of dog it was, but it was like, maybe it was one of those like white fluffy ones that isn't so big, but it was like a smaller dog, it wasn't a larger dog, that's just kind of an important detail for you to know, um, also because the Karen probably couldn't abduct a large dog anyways, but Gabby was at this dog park that she would go to with her dog on the weekend, so every Saturday, you know, she would drive over and, you know, bring the dog with her, and you know, they'd be able to walk around, the dog would be able to sniff all these new smells, would be able to see all the other dogs were in the dog park as well. And that's when one day Gabby met, you know, the Karen who is also at this dog park. So Gabby kind of recognized this older woman who has always kind of been at the dog park, but Gabby and her have never interacted until before this moment, right? So Gabby, this is just a normal Saturday where she's with, you know, her dog in the dog park and, you know, they're just hanging out, chilling, Life is good. Gabby's dog is sniffing some, uh, you know, sniffing some other dog's butts. You know, standard dog affair. And that's when Gabby's dog turns, looks at the Karen, and barks. And look, it's a freaking dog. Oh, no, it barked at you? Oh, no, that's crazy. No, it's normal. It's standard. But, you know, the Karen was like, oh, good heavens, did your dog just bark at me? And Gabby's like, oh, yeah, I'm sorry, ma'am. He's, I'm, I'm, he's still, he's a little feisty sometimes, haha. -ha. Normally, right, you know, I'm, I'm a dog owner, and, you know, sometimes my dog is just barks at random people. Dude, that's that's what they do, bro. That's kind of just how they are. Some of them are better behaved, behaved than others. And it's really like, I don't get personally offended when a dog barks at me. But anyways, right, the Karen is like, you should teach your dog some manners. Like, you definitely have not taught, taken good care of your dog if your dog is barking at random people and going on like that. And, you know, Gabby was a little offended. She was like, what do you mean I, was, I haven't taken good care of my dog? Like, sure, my dog barked at you, but my dog doesn't bark that much. And also, that's not the worst thing. Hey, you know, you know, I, I could understand where you're coming from if my dog was going around biting everyone or like attacking them or like trying to eat some babies or something sure fair enough I don't know if she said that last part but like I get that but dude she just barked at you but the Karen was for some reason completely convinced with herself that like if your dog barks at someone you know you haven't spent the time as a dog owner to make sure that they're I, I don't know I honestly don't know where the Karen was coming from on this, but the Karen kind of just went on and on again about like how like, oh, how Gabby very clearly has not taken care of her dog or whatever and how she's a terrible pet owner. Remember, this is all because the dog barked at the Karen once. Probably because the, the, the dog just got the bad vibes off the Karen. The dog was ahead of the curve. You know, sometimes dogs have these senses that, like, you can't really pick up on. And I think the dog picked up on, like, how insane the Karen was here, bro. I, I swear. I really think that that's the truth here. But anyways, right, so the Karen, so eventually Gabby's like, all right, well, that's fine, ma'am. Because the Karen is continuously going on about, oh such a bad dog owner, man. Stuff like that. So Gabby eventually just gets out of there and goes to a different part of the dog park. And she starts speaking to her dog, and she's like, all right, buddy, let's not bark at anyone crazy like that again. Like, you, most people don't care, but every once in a while, you'll get someone like that. And honestly, Karen, uh, Gabby thought that, okay, well, I'm probably not never going to interact with this Karen again, because sure, like, sure, I'll probably see her again at the dog park. Or sure, maybe, like, I'll run into her on the street or something. But, like, I, if I see her, I'm going to make sure that I'm going to be... I'm going to steer clear, you know, away from her. Because, like, bro, I'm not trying to have another conversation with this woman. Definitely not a productive time trying to have any conversation with her. So Gabby was like, all right, well, this is kind of the last time I'm going to see her. And this was until about, you know, a week later when Gabby was at her own house, right? And she was just walking her dog around the block. However, she was walking out of her house, right, with her dog. So it was very clear that she was coming out of that house. And that's when she made eye contact with the Karen, right? And the Karen just happened to be walking around the neighborhood. And they make eye contact with each other. And the Karen is like, wait, I know you. I know you. Oh, there goes Clara. She's barking at something. Karen's like, I know you. You're from, you're the bad dog owner. And Gabby's like, bro, you can't be serious, bro. Like, uh, really? 
So Gabby kind of just looks at the Karen and thinks to herself, wow, well, looks like I do have to deal with this woman one more time. And Gabby's like, uh, I think you're remembering wrong. Because she's like, yeah, I could probably just, like, <laughs> gaslight this woman to think that her memory's going bad. I'm not trying to deal with her, bro. And sure enough, right, you know, the Karen's like, no, that's definitely you. You were the, you know, the terrible dog owner that your malicious dog barked at me. And Gabby was like, have you really never had a dog bark at you, ma'am? And she completely ignores that question just to continue to, you know, berate Gabby and be like, you're the worst dog owner I've ever met. And you know what? Like, it, it, it's not the dog's fault. It's your fault. That dog, all that dog needs is a bit of training from me. At this point, Gabby's like, Wait a minute, is he trying to, like, pitch me a course or something? Am I being, am I being sold at right now? Like, uh, what? And, you know, and the Karen says, you know what? Because I am so kind-hearted. Because I have such a large heart, right? Because I have love for so many people. And Gabby's like, all right, ma'am, get to the point. And, and it, I mean, she doesn't say that, but that's what she's thinking. And the Karen goes, I, you know what? I will make a very large sacrifice. I will offer that I will take that dog off your hands and I will give it a truly a good home. And Gabby was just so shocked at this point because she's like, all right, this, me like, this woman comes up to me and starts yelling at me and then says that she will take the massive sacrifice of stealing my dog. What? And Gabby's like, no, are, are you insane? And the Karen's like, just more evidence, just more evidence that you were the worst. And that the reason why your dog sucks is because you suck. It's not the dog's fault. It's yours. And Gabby is just, she's just so blown away at this point. She's like, the audacity of this woman. God damn. <laughs> no, but anyways, you know, Gabby's like, all right, ma'am, no. Um, I'm now actually going to go walk my dog as I take care of my dog. And my dog is quite well behaved, actually, compared to most dogs. Quite well behaved. And the Karen's like, fine. I didn't, like, <sighs> I can barely handle this level of disrespect and, you know, uh, disrespect to your elders anyways. Like, have, you know, have fun torturing that dog. And the Karen just, like, kind of, like, pouts and stomps away. And Gabby's like, oh, my God. Like, I didn't think I was going to have an interaction with that woman again, but I definitely did not think that that was going to... I definitely did not think that that was going to be my interaction, like, nevertheless. Like, that that's insane. So Gabby walks her dog, you know, because they walk around in the back. And so a couple days go by, and something when, like, Gabby and her mom are in the house, they have a backyard that is practically fenced in. Like, it's not, you could go break into it, or you could, as you'll see in a second, you could push into it, you could kind of break into it, you know. But it's, the dog never leaves, so what Gabby and Gabby's mom uh, let the dog do is, like, if the dog kind of goes to the door and kind of, like, scratches or whines near it, they'll let the dog out, and they'll let the dog out into the backyard, and when the dog wants to come back in, the dog will just kind of, like, paw on the door again. So basically, the dog has a pretty big backyard that, you know, the dog can go around, can sniff all the smells, can dig up dirt, can go fight with some squirrels. Kind of just allows the dog to be outside without any supervision or anything like that. And for that, you know, the dog has also not ever tried to escape before. So one of these days when the dog was let outside, it had been a couple hours and it was about time for, you know, Gabby to walk the dog. So Gabby looks around the house and is like, okay, well, the dog was probably in the backyard and he goes downstairs and goes to the backyard and the backyard's empty. So Gabby like walks out and really looks around, right? She looks around the corners. She looks behind the trees. She looks in the bushes. And that's when, you know, when you like have lost something or someone, if it's your dog, but especially for me when I've lost like my wallet or something or my phone or something, and you start looking around and you get start getting that really terrible feeling knowing that it's lost. And you just, you, you continue to like look at all these places. Like you continue to look under things and you continue to look even though you know that there's like no chance that they're there. Like I'll look in drawers I've never opened for years being like, please be in here, even though it's obviously not, right? And you just get that sinking feeling of, you know, it's gone. And Gabby was getting that feeling of like, oh my God, oh my God, my dog's gone. Like, where's my dog? So immediately, you know, she calls up her mom and her mom is like out somewhere. She's like, mom, mom, I think the dog escaped. And, and her mom's like, what? That The dog's never ran away. And Gabby's like, I don't know what happened, but she's not here. So Gabby's mom immediately rushes back. And while Gabby's mom is coming back to the house, Gabby, once again, is just kind of going, looking again, looks in the backyard again, 
looks throughout the house again, walks around the block, kind of like the walk that they normally do, like the walk that she normally brings the dog on. The dog is nowhere to be seen. So when Gabby's mom comes back, they both are kind of like, oh my God, what's going on? And Gabby's mom's like, okay, well, your dog probably hasn't gone that far. I mean, maybe, but like, a small little dog. How far could it have really have gone? Probably just got confused and lost, and this is walking around. So Gabby and Gabby's mom start like going around the neighborhood in their car, looking around. Once again, they're just kind of like driving around, looking for the dog. Gabby has the window rolled down, yelling its name out. I don't know. We can give it a name. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Give it a name or something. I, I, I don't know. Anyways, so they're driving around. And, you know, Gabby's mom's like, um, I'm going to keep driving and looking. If you want to just, like, start scouting out yourself, like, I don't I don't really know what to do. I'm going to go on, like, Facebook and post on, like, the neighborhood group the like, photos of her dog saying, like, have you seen this dog? We have not, like, she escaped or something like that. Gabby's like, all right, well, just let me know if, like, anyone knows anything or just, because, like, Gabby was freaking out right now. This was her dog. This was her little baby. And, this dog has never ran away. This dog has never even attempted to run away. This dog is hesitant doing a different, like, path. Like, the dog loves routine. Why would it change it up? It just didn't make a lot of sense to Gabby. And later, and, or, I mean, if you can see the title of this video, you'll know exactly why it made no sense. So within, very soon, you will see one of the craziest things that a Karen has ever done. But real quick, if you made it this far into the video, comment Karen down below. I'll try and hard a bunch of comments that say that. And also, if you do want to support the channel, uh, all you got to do is at some point, maybe after this video, I say this every time, by the way, or maybe later, um, sit down and watch a bunch of videos, or as I say, binge watch the videos, maybe watch one, two, three, whatever, and let me know what you're doing while watching the videos. Are you like playing a video game? Are you drawing, animating, cleaning your room? Or do these videos help you go to sleep? I no longer take offense to that because I watch, uh, I watch like King of the Hill to go to sleep. I actually like that show, man. It's like, it's a good show. I actually like it. Any anyways, anyways, let's just get back to the story. Stuff's, stuff's getting interesting. So Cabby is like going around the neighborhood. She's kind of like doing a like job or jog or whatever, yelling out the name of the dog, going around, going around. And that's when... That's when she hears a bark, and you might be thinking, all right, bro, it's a bark. <laughs> like, come on. Dog barks kind of sound the same. However, Gabby was convinced that that was the bark of her dog, so she immediately starts yelling the name again, and she hears the bark again. So she starts to try and, like, figure out where this bark is coming from. She tries to, like, locate the source of, like, the noise. Because, yes, it could be another dog, but this is the first lead that she's gotten ever since her dog was gone. There's not a single other clue or lead or anything. So she's like, screw it, I'm taking this, I'm putting all my chips in. And Gabby, like, goes in the direction of the bark, and it gets her to this house. It's very, very strange, right? And she looks in the backyard of this house, and there's, like, a, the, the only thing that's, like, hold, like between, like, Gabby and the backyard is this row of, like, these shrubs, right? So Gabby kind of, like, pries the shrubs apart because she hears the barking from the backyard. And that's when she sees a dog sitting in the backyard, right, barking. And it's a little white dog. And Gabby's like, okay, I can't be 100% sure. But and in the middle of her thought, the dog kind of, like, moves its head and Gabby sees the collar that's still on the dog. The collar is like a red and black stripe one, and it's the one that Gabby's dog had on before it, like, the dog was abducted, basically. And Gabby's like, there is no way that at this point this is a coincidence. And this is when Gabby is starting to realize, why is this dog here? Did he sneak through? Like, well, what happened? And that's when Gabby is about to go into the backyard when she hears a door open. So she doesn't push her way into the backyard, but she con continues to watch. And she hears a door open, and she hears someone walk out. And someone walks out with a bowl of water and puts it down. And guess who it is? It's the Karen. And Gabby's like, oh my god. Oh my god. So anyways, Gabby like kind of retreats for a second, stays behind the shrubs so she can't be seen, takes out her phone, and sends a message to her mom. Explains like massive blocks of text explaining everything. And then also follow, follows it up by like, I can't call right now. I think I'm going to try and get the dog. I don't want to be caught, right? So sends the messages, closes out her phone, and is kind of just waiting. 
So Gabby, like, you know, looks in and sees that, like, you know, the, the door is closed, so the Karen is no longer in the backyard. But Gabby is also aware that, you know, the that there's a lot of windows, that, you know, movement in the backyard, that the dog, you know, Gabby's dog will probably start barking a lot and making a lot of noise when Gabby comes to pick the dog up because, like, the dog's going to be so excited to see that Gabby's there to pick him up. Stuff like that, right? So Gabby's like, all right, I kind of got one shot with this. So Gabby kind of like pushes through the shrubs. It's kind of difficult. And Gabby's looking around and she sees like, you know, she's like, all right, I'm going to have to like really like really like sprint, right? I'm going to have to really send it like when I get the dog because going through these shrubs are going to be hard or whatever. She pushes through like the bushes and she's fully through. And all of a sudden, she hears a barrage of barking. It's her dog. Her dog's running up to her, kind of basically jumps into her arms. The dog has had a terrible day. It was abducted by someone, right? Apparently, it must have been that the Karen somehow broke into the backyard of Gabby's house. Because, like, right, the Karen now knew where Gabby lived after they had that interaction. And probably scouted out her house and probably went back another day, another day noticed the dog was there, and then either picked it up that day or a later day, kind of, like, broken or whatever. So Gabby, reunited with her dog, is about to turn around when she hears, Stop! And Gabby turns around again. And sure enough, the door is wide open and the Karen is standing there. And Gabby yells like, why did you steal my dog? And the Karen's like, I didn't steal anything. I was just doing, you know, the service that as a dog owner should. Like, I was taking that dog away from the horrible life that he had with you obviously, by the way it acted, the way it lashed out to me. It was lashing out in pain. It needed me to save it. And Gabby's like, first of all, that's ridiculous. My dog simply barked at you, probably because it realized that you were a dog kidnapper. Second of all, you can't go around stealing dogs. You can't be doing that. That's not your place. That's not your place to choose these things. And the Karen is like, I did what I know is right. And now I will do what I know is right by taking that dog back. So Gabby is like, oh, hell nah, bro. Turns around, pushes through the bushes really quickly. And the Karen's like, no, get back here. And Gabby's like all the way through except her leg when she feels a tug. And sure enough, right, she feels two hands on her leg. And she's trying to pull through the bushes, right? And the Karen's like, get back here. And the Karen is legitimately pulling on her leg because she's like in between the line of bushes And then Gabby starts shaking her leg, shaking it. And then the Karen loses grip. She pulls through. Gabby kind of falls forward a little bit, but lets go of the dog before she, like, lands on the dog. The the dog jumps down and starts barking or whatever. Gabby picks the dog back up and starts running. And that's when Gabby's like, all right, I think I lost her. So Gabby pulls out her phone, calls up her mom, and her mom's like, oh, my God, what happened? She's like, I just, like, picked up the dog from the crazy Karen's house. I'm at 123 uh, Elmer Street or whatever. Like, can you come pick me up? And that's when Gabby's like, actually, mom, um, uh, I'm going to need you to come here kind of quick. I-, I don't know where the Karen is. Wait, mom, uh, I'm going to have to get back to you. And her mom's like, what? Gabby, what's going on? What's going on? Because that's when Gabby, like, she thought that she, because she can outrun the Karen, right? But that's when she starts seeing a car coming at her. And sure enough, looking into the windshield, it is the Karen driving that car. So Gabby starts running, right? And Gabby starts running, hops a fence, goes into another backyard. Dogs that are chained up in that backyard start like yelling or screaming, or yelling, start barking at her. Gabby jumps another fence and she sees like, she hears a car go, turns a corner, right? She's like, oh shoot, she's on me. So Gabby goes in and she finds the dog park, right? Cause the dog park's really close to where the Karen lives and kind of close to where Gabby lives. Gabby runs into the dog park and obviously you can't drive a car into the dog dog park. So Karen parks, gets out, and that's when Gabby calls her mom again. She's like, the Karen is chasing me at the car. And Gabby's mom's like, oh my God, this is insane. She's like, mom, I'm at the dog park. I need you to idle at, you know, 748 like East Street because that's like the other side of the park. The park's actually really large. So what Gabby was going to do is she was going to like lead the Karen through the park and Gabby's mom was supposedly going to be at the other side of the park and was going to be waiting for her, right? And then, like, she'd jump in the car and get away. And Gabby's mom's like, I'll be there in, like, two minutes. It's really close, right? So Gabby starts running through the park. And, you know, she sees the Karen far away. But the Karen's coming at her kind of, like, 
speed power walking or whatever and yelling at her the entire time being like come back here come back here so gabby's running 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 gets to the end of the park doesn't see her mom's car and she's like oh my god oh my god the karen starts approaching slowly but surely like if her mom isn't here in the next two to three minutes the karen will catch up and as the karen's getting closer and closer and closer gabby sees her mom's car pull up and she just runs to the other side gets in comes in and gabby's mom's like oh my god what and gabby's like no time go 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 so gabby's mom you know gets in the car drives off and the karen's yelling the whole time so, you know, Gabby and Gabby's mom drive around for a little bit before they go back home. Gabby explains literally everything, and, you know, the, uh, you know, Gabby's mom's like, all right, well, um, first of all, we should probably get some of the fence in our backyard now so that that can't happen. Um, we should install, like, a security camera. And then also, c can we call the police? So Gabby's mom actually calls, like, the non-emergency line, so not 911, but the other one, explains the situation. They said, wow, like that's insane. Like, do you, can you give a description like of this woman? Cause we'll go talk to her basically explain the, like, if she does something like this again, there'll be consequences. So Gabby starts explaining like what this woman looks like. And they're like, Oh, Shelby. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. And Gabby's like, you know, this woman and the non-emergency police officer was like, yes, we get calls about her like every week. She's the worst. But this is probably one of the worst things she's ever done. So we're going to go to her for this time and say that, like, next time she does anything, like, that's it. And they're like, actually, thank you for telling us this. She's been causing problems for years now. And now we finally have a reason to tell her, like, it's done. It's over. So you might be thinking that this story is over and that things are going to be good, right? But no. Because when Gabby and Gabby's mom start driving by their house, they see... They, they see, because, like, you know when you pull up to your house, you're pulling up by the, like, the, so there's, like, a sidewalk that leads by Gabby's house, and they're pulling up to their house, and that's when they see someone walking on the sidewalk up to their house, and Gabby's like, go by our house, keep going, keep going. Gabby's mom's like, why? And she's like, that's the Karen. So the Karen was literally walking to Gabby's house. So Gabby's mom and Gabby, you know, they start driving around again. They're like, oh my God, this is insane. And Gabby's mom calls up the non-emergency line again. And they're like, hey, how can we help you? And, and they say, hey, we're the people who called in like a minute ago talking about the dog and the, the old woman, right? And they're like, hey, so we don't know what to do because she is walking up to our house right now. And the non-emergency line's like, okay, well, I guess if we're going to confront this woman, might as well, uh, doesn't really matter where. So they send a police officer up to the house and, you know, Gabby and Gabby's mom, like, start idling, like, kind of far away from the house, but within sight. And they see the police officer pull, like, pull up to their house and they see the Karen waiting outside. And that's when Gabby and Gabby's mom drive closely, drive into the driveway and get out. So there's a police officer, the Karen, Gabby, Gabby's mom, and Gabby's dog, right? It's a, it's, it's a party, bro. It's gonna be so hype. I'm kidding. Anyways, though, so the, so the Karen starts pointing. She says, I know that this little girl is a terrible dog owner. And yes, sure, I broke into their backyard and stole their dog, but I did it for good reasons. And the police officer's like, ma'am, so you admit to doing that? She said, yes, but I do in the name of good dog owners. And the police officer's like, ma'am, what? <laughs> like, he wasn't even trying to be like, ex like, explain what you're doing. He's just like, bro, what? But sure enough, right, um, you know, Gabby is like, yeah, she, this, this woman broke in and like I had to go into her backyard to steal my dog back and she was chasing me. The police officer's like, ma'am, turns to Karen, like we've had to deal with you for years. There have been cases and cases of you overstepping, but this time you overstepped way too far, right? You know, there's no charges. These, these nice ones, like these people could very easily press charges. By the way, they clarified they don't want to press charges earlier. And the police officer said, but if you do one more thing, and anything, any complaint comes in, our department is going to deal with this ourselves. Because you've caused too much stress, too much turmoil, turmoil, too much damage to this community by all the acts you've done. Especially this one. This is insane. You broke into this young girl. Why do you think she's a bad dog owner? And the Karen's like, well, that her dog barked at me. And the police officer's like, What? Is that it? And she's like, well, he, and he says, no, no, this is insane. You broke into this, this family's house and you stole something of theirs. You robbed them. 
This is ridiculous. The fact that they're not pressing charges, in my, my opinion, is ridiculous. But if you do one more thing, this department will use all of our resources to make sure that you are no longer a menace to this community. And the Karen is completely deflated at this point. It's like, I understand, sir, and walks away. The police officers are like, guys, if you have any other sightings of this woman, right, please send them in. We'll do everything, right? And, you know, uh, Gabby's mom's like, well, we're getting a better backyard. We're also installing security cameras or motion sensor cameras that'll take videos of anything. And if she's in the backyard again, we'll also have proof and we'll come in for sure. And the, and the police officer's like, thank you for reporting this. This is insane. She's been a menace for years, but I promise, like, if anything ever happens again, not even just with you guys, but in general with her, she will no longer be a problem to any of you guys. And they thank the police officer. They go back home. And, you know, Gabby just spends some Click on the video on screen right now. I know you'll enjoy it. Just click it. Do it.